So to remove the coils, you're gonna have to remove the cover. And before we do that, and to make it easier to reach the stuff that we need to get back there, uh, you're gonna wanna do the cabin microfilter. Remove the cabin microfilter by unscrewing these three screws. filter out. Then there are, let's see here, four T30 Torx screws you're going to have to take out. Take those out and then unclip this wiring harness and this will come out. all these up and then you can take them out by hand or just keep taking them out with this it's pretty easy then to remove the wiring harness just unclip these And the wiring just pulls out here. And then that just removes. And this will allow you to get back to the back here. Take a screwdriver and pry open this. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt in there that you'll want to take out. There's also one in the front. Right here, pry that open with a screwdriver, take out the 10 millimeter bolt. Once that's done, you can remove the cover on. Take the oil cap off. Now you can remove the cover. So once the cover's off, you're looking at the coils. This is the number one cylinder, two, three, four, five, six. grounding wire. It just takes 10 millimeter socket to remove the two screws. And these fit. These get pressed down right on top of the spark plug. Remove the electrical connector. That will allow you to pull this wire off. There we go. So that pulls off. A closer look at removing the clip here that holds the wire to it. You just simply lift up those little tabs. And that will allow you to pull the connector up. And then you can pull this out. One coil. And down in there you can see the spark plug. Here they are, all pulled out. Took me probably five minutes. I have to say, that's what I love about working on BMWs. They're designed to come apart quickly. 
To remove the spark plugs, you're going to want a 5 8 inch socket, deep socket with an extension. Stable. I'm holding this to stabilize it, so I'm, these are, and they're pretty tight. They haven't been changed, I think, since the car. Well, I don't know how long they've been changed. It's probably been 10 years and at least 100,000 miles. So I'm holding this to stabilize it so I don't put diagonal pressure on it, holding it down. And then using my other hand, gently twist it out. Go ahead and put some sort of anti-seize lubricant on these on the new threads. Still grabbing. Last thing I want to have is one of these things strip or break off in here. That would not be fun. Voila. It's pretty rusted. For something that's sealed all up, it's kind of strange that there's rust on the edge, on the threads. Removing the cabin air filter makes it so much easier to come back here and take these spark plugs out. There's no comparison. Boy, you can hear that thread just squeaking. But, I'm going to wait to say this till it's actually out, but, let's see, but I got them out successfully. Shouldn't be rusty. Kind of weird. Head gasket's fine. There's no white smoke coming out the back or anything. Runs great. Put some anti-seize lubricant on that when I put the new ones back in. I'll put a little bit of this on the threads of the new ones. And then uh, put them in, tighten them down coils on and put it back together see how it runs so this is what it looks like with the anti-seize on it you don't need to put a lot on just a, enough to cover the area of the threads this 5 8 socket with a rubber it's basically made for putting in spark plugs I don't know if I can catch the light here but there's a rubber washer down there that grips onto the edge of this and holds it in place so that when you go to put these in, they hold and make it a whole lot easier. Not that it's that hard, but 
to get these things started correctly. Basically you want to get them screwed in all the way and then use the wrench to just tighten them. So I am trying these coils that I got off of Amazon, super cheap, like 60 bucks for all six. They uh, seem to have about the same quality on the outside, same thickness of rubber. This switch, or this uh, lock for the electrical is just as sturdy as the uh, original BMW one. Here's the... They feel a tad heavier, but switch just as sturdy. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how they work. For the price, it's worth the experiment. They come pre lubricated. I don't know if you can see the blue, blue stripes in there. So, to put the new coils in, you position it like that with the electrical side down, and basically. Move the uh, ground out of the way. Basically, just press them on in. With all the 10 millimeter screws put back in place, you can go back through and tighten them all down. Make sure you remember to put the ground wire back in there. Once you have these in place, lift up the metal lock, insert the electrical end. And press down, locking it in place. 